Okay, so for any kind of dynamics question, if they didn't give you a picture, it's a good idea to draw it out first. So let's see, tractor. How oh, to draw tractor? Uh. Let's say tractor look like this lah. Uh. Connected to a by a tow bar to a trailer. So let's we'll say the trailer looks something like this. Then the tow bar connect them off. This is a very long tow bar just to just for us to see it. Okay. So this is our tractor. What else do we know? Okay, 100 kg. 100 kg. Oh, yeah, I miss a zero. Okay. Now, the tip is the total resistance to motion has 4,000. So means all the forces, resistance, is about 4,000. Everything that's going in that direction, assuming your trailer is moving here. Okay. And let's see, what else do we know from the question? One quarter of this resistance acts on the trailer. So it's kind of sticking out of the butt. One quarter of this is 1,000. That's the resistance on this one only. Now, when the trailer and tractor are moving on a horizontal ground at a constant speed. Hey, that tells me something. Constant speed means no acceleration. No acceleration then means the resultant force or net force is zero. It means all the arrows going to the left and all the arrows going to the right should all cancel out. Okay, so acceleration zero means this fellow also has acceleration zero. Everyone's having an acceleration of zero. Now what are they asking us? What is the force exerted on the tractor by the tow bar? So you think about it, force on this tractor by the tow bar. What's the tow bar doing if you look at this part? Now it might be a bit hard, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break out these pictures and draw a free body diagram. Free body means you basically draw each part separately. Lah. So I have my little trailer, 1000 and my tractor separately 1000 we don't know what the force is okay so don't care about this part let's look at this part first so here we have acceleration of zero the resistive force is 1000 means this tow bar is going to exert a tension here and what should the tension be if the acceleration is zero okay so no acceleration means no net force no net force means this should also be 1,000. So far, so good. Okay, then we go to this side. This one is going to have some driving force. Don't care what it is at the moment. But what I want to find is this. The tow bar is going to exert a force on this one. Why? Because this tractor is kind of pulling. And what's fighting that is the tow bar that is pulling it backwards. So it's going to be a backwards tension. But what is this value? We're trying to find this in the question. Here's the part. Remember a tow bar? If you take it apart, let's take it out again. Okay, Tension on this side should be same as tension on that side. Which means, if this is 1000, this should also be 1000. And that's the answer they're looking for. 1000. Some of you will say, eh? Wait, 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 wait. Here, all going to the left should be 4,000. Here, 1,000, 1,000 means only 2,000 going to the left, meh? Well, there are other resistive forces on this tractor that we don't know. Maybe friction on the tires this side. Maybe, okay? So, like, let's say if I say the other resistive forces are 2,000. Then you have 2,000 to the left, 1,000, and 1,000 for a total of 4,000. But we pretty much don't care about this. We only care about this part. And we really only need these two to tell us what this tension is.